Okay, here's a look at the pilot assembly plus the mercury type switch here. Uh, let's even give you an idea of why it does what it does. Now I've got the thermocouple looking thing right there. Uh, I pulled that out of the pilot assembly. Now all it's, this is, I mean it looks just like a thermocouple, but it isn't. Uh, there's mercury inside this whole thing here, and as the mercury heats up, it expands. Okay, look at that tube. Okay, this is a piece of stainless steel tubing, very small. Uh, but it is tubing, and it goes back to... this doohickey right here. Now all this is is a diaphragm inside and as the mercury expands it changes the switch. Okay here's the diaphragm here. Look a little closer at it. So it just moves back and forth like that. So when the pilot comes on it heats it up this thing moves this way and it changes a single pole double throw switch. Okay, here's the other half. You can see the spring right here. Here's the connectors that connect into the gas valve. If you listen close, you can hear that switch make as the uh, mercury expands. Okay, let's give a little sequence of how this is going to work. When the pilot is off, that's when there's no call for heat, then the mercury cools inside here, which transfers through this little capillary tube to here, and this thing moves back, which changes this switch back to its normal position. Now this doesn't happen immediately because the mercury's hot inside there, and that high temperature keeps this thing closed for a while and so keeps this pressed down. Well as it cools comes back out and it's ready to start again. So if I were to turn this thing on, get the main burner on and everything and then shut off the gas so it takes a little time for this thing to get back into its original position so it can relight again. So if I was to turn it on and then uh, turn it off, you know, open the thermostat, then the burners would all go out and then if I uh, turned it back up again right away it would have to wait until this switch goes back to its original position and then the spark igniter would turn on and the uh, pilot gas would come on and it would prove and once it's proved it'll light the burner. Now let's take a little look at that pilot. Okay here's our pilot. Uh, here's your spark line running there. Goes that little uh, uh, ceramic there and the spark gap, see if you can see that a little bit, you can see that spark gap between that and that hood. So the spark jumps to the hood, which is the actual pilot light itself. Pilot light lights, and then of course it warms that uh, uh, that mercury in the uh, pilot assembly. And that's how the mercury switch works on the Ream RGDA gas furnace.